it's a very, very old system. It's called a legacy system. And so uh, it, it's, it's just a, a system that really just needs to be replaced. Chief Ignacio is talking about the Motorola land-based mobile radio system purchased and operated by GPD since the late 80s. It was designed to be able to connect key government agencies with one another during major disasters. He says while it's still operable, it's no longer very reliable. It went down recently, I think in January of this year, and it took us a, a couple of months to, to get that thing back up and running properly. You know, and thanks to, you know, our, our current vendor Motorola for working with us, you know, to get it back up and running. Current technology has long outpaced the system, and GovGuam has recognized the need for an upgrade as far back as 2008, when the first interoperable communications working group was formed. But Ignacio says nothing ever really materialized, so in a recent executive order, Governor Leon Guerrero disbanded the old working group. She also allocated $9 million in American Rescue Plan funds for a new system. And last week, GPD closed out the request for proposals for a new consultant. So this is going to be the central public safety communications for all, all of the government of Guam. And that's why, uh, as we move forward, that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at is, you know, how do we fit this communication system into the whole of the government so that it meets our needs? GPD, along with GFD, Civil Defense, and the Office of Technology, will be meeting next week to review the consultant applications. Chief Ignacio hopes to have a new system designed in the next 12 to 18 months. For KOM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.